Estonia is shifting to a bold new defence strategy, striking potential invaders before they even approach its borders. This marks a significant change amid growing fears of Russian aggression. Haunted by memories of Soviet occupation and alarmed by the war in Ukraine, the Baltic nation is preparing to acquire advanced weaponry that can strike deep into enemy territory, targeting adversaries long before they pose a direct threat. Magnus Valdemar Saar, director of the Center for Defense Investment, shared details of this ambitious plan in an interview with Defense One, emphasizing Estonia's goal to conduct shaping operations far beyond its own territory. This strategy is heavily influenced by Ukraine's experience, where long-range missile systems have played a vital role in defending against Russian forces. Estonia's defence overhaul follows a broader trend among the Baltic states, which have significantly increased military spending since Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. The stakes have only grown with the ongoing war in Ukraine. As part of its upgrades, Estonia is acquiring loitering munitions, drones with a 100-kilometer range, that will become operational by the end of the year. Estonia is also investing in six HIMARS launchers, capable of firing rockets up to 300 kilometers, allowing for deeper strikes into enemy territory. Saar explained that modern military conflicts require nations to engage adversaries from a distance, making preemptive strikes a key component of Estonia's evolving defence strategy. He emphasised that it's no longer just about defending at the borders. Neutralising threats before they reach the front lines is now essential. Ukraine's use of long-range ATACMS missiles to strike deep inside Russia has had a profound impact on Estonia's military thinking as the country looks to bolster its own capabilities. Despite its strong ties with NATO, Estonia is moving faster than the alliance's broader defence planning cycle, accelerating its military upgrades to stay ahead of potential regional threats. Saar acknowledged NATO's ongoing discussions around resource allocation but stressed the urgency of Estonia's security needs, which demand swift action. Estonia is also exploring options to strengthen its air defences, potentially adding longer-range systems to complement its existing German-made Iris-T air defence system. These decisions will hinge on cost considerations and long-term defence plans, which extend to 2035. For Estonia and its Baltic neighbours Latvia and Lithuania, the shadow of Russian expansionism has never disappeared. The region's memories of Stalinist repression are being revived by the war in Ukraine, highlighting both historical trauma and current threats. While these nations are firmly integrated into NATO, they are increasingly recognising the need for greater self-reliance in the face of growing instability. As Estonia accelerates its defence investments, it signals a readiness not just to defend itself, but to strike first, neutralising future threats before they ever reach its borders.